Hey guys, how are you all doing? Hope everyone's doing really well. Thank you for joining me on my Euro 2020 playthrough with France, specifically controlling Espimaz, Pez United winger, the OG. That's right, I've drafted him into the national side along the likes of Mbappe, Griezmann, Pogba, Kante, and let's see if he can hold his own in there. Now, as you've already clicked into this video, I'm assuming you all know who Espimaz is, but should you don't, here's just a little background on him. So Espimaz first appeared in the second iteration of Master League in the default squad, which was on ISS Pro Evolution 2 on the PlayStation 1. I mean, look at him just ghost and pass Rio Ferdinand there with ease. But perhaps it was the PS2 era, the classic Pez era, that we all fell in love with him and fell in love with this Master League side. But Espimaz was always my personal favourite out of this crop of players. Maybe it was the blonde hair and the stunning looks, I don't know. But uh, it was the pace, he was always a real outlet for me, especially on that right hand side. And he remained in the team into the PS3, Xbox 360 era, right up until PES 2012, which was the final year for this classic team. Now as I'm a massive nerd when it comes to PES, I had to get an Espimash shirt when PES Universe were making these last year. So let's just see what we're dealing with here. So rated 67 overall, not the strongest, but staying true to that Pez United struggle. It's not as quick as he once felt, but pace and shooting was always his strong points. He's got some player skill cards there on the shooting, so maybe that's the plan, maybe we just start letting rip from range. I'm okay with that. So I'm excited to get stuck in, so let's get this thing started. So we're playing on Superstar 10 minute games. And of course, we're in that group F, that group of death. So Hungary, Portugal, France and Germany. I think the fixtures go as Germany first, then hopefully an easier one against Hungary, and then we finish up against Portugal, which could be a group decider, so hopefully we've gained a couple of points before then. So let's see how we're lining up for the opener. Griezmann's going to have to come out because he's on red form. Soliso as well, he will come out. So Benzema will spearhead the attack. We'll pick up that right-hand side, Although, probably we've got license to drift, we'll be all over the place, I'm sure. Mbappe on the left. Midfield three of Kante, Pogba and Sissoko. So Zenit St. Petersburg Stadium it is then. Germany v France. What a clash to start this group off. So I'm actually playing this on manual controls. Now, I can assure you that wasn't the plan up front. But when I started this game, that was the controls that I had on from the last time I played. So, uh... Yeah, I have played manual quite a bit in the past, but um, I'll be a bit rusty. So it's going to be all about kind of growing into the tournament as a player and also me growing into the manual controls. So it should be a bit of fun. It will keep me on my toes anyway. I mean, there's quite a stacked France team we've got here. What a stacked squad. So I expect these players will be doing a lot of the heavy lifting. I'll just be there to make a nuisance myself. A few wayward passes and a few wayward shots, no doubt. See if I can stay disciplined enough to stay on that right-hand side and uh, try not to call for the ball so often. We'll see. So I expect Espimaz will be feeling a bit of an outcast in this squad. Not quite those Ashley Cart Roma levels, but maybe something similar. He'll be looking to earn the trust of the players, earn some respect, but let me assure you, he's not here just to make up the numbers. He's gonna be here to add a bit of flair, add some goals, add some assist, add some panache. He's gonna really light this tournament up. Well, that's the plan anyway. He might just be ultra greedy and also ultra shite. We'll see. Let's get this started then. Fourth minute, getting our first involvement of the ball. Looking to give it simple out wide. That was nice. Already bursting into that space, providing it would be a real option. Bit of a toe poke forward. Benzema. Already drifting way over to the left. Picking it up. Pass to absolutely no one. It's been kept alive. We're available for the cross. Decent clip in actually and Benzema straight at the keeper. Should have done better there. Is Mbappe who kept that move alive. Back heeled, rolled back to us. That was nice. You can't give Espinaz that sort of time. He will deliver and Benzema should have put that away. From the resultant corner. I mean, what am I doing calling for the ball? That's stupid. I've got absolutely no heading attributes. Should maybe be taking positions up outside the box to get any knockdowns. Kante with a lovely pass there. Look at the space we're picking up. German players should know better. Now they are absolutely clattering into us. They know what we can do when we've got time and space. 
Pogba over the free kick. That's Suzoko who's leaping up there. Because that's easy for the keeper. 29th minute, France forward again. Trying to build on that positive start. Cut out there by Germany. There's some nice one-touch play here. Cutting through the midfield. And it looks like Sane could be in here. He's wrong side of Hernandez. Left foot. Nice finish. That's 1-0 Germany. Selfishly, Espinaz didn't do much wrong at all in that goal. He can't be blamed. That was a good move from Germany. Showing their quality. 1-0 down is not ideal. Still plenty of time there to go in the game. Forty-third minute, pumped up field. No doubt we are calling for it. If we're calling for it, they're of course going to try and pass it to us. Pogba here, what vision that is! And Espinaz all of a sudden threw one on one, just nowhere to beat. Left foot, that was poor. But Mbappe following up. That's one all, right on the stroke of half time. Can we acclaim the assist for that? I don't know. I reckon so. But Mbappe though with the finish, that's the quality we got. What about that pass though from Pogba? Espinaz will already be feeling a lot more settled now in this team. He's been a danger. Of course, it was his position that he took up, which Popper picked out. Here's that pass, 40 yards right through the middle. Espinaz, one on one, absolutely bottled it, to be fair. Left foot, his weaker foot, he went the wrong side of Neuer. But luckily, Mbappe was there to put it into the empty net right on half time. Let's take a look at the half time stats. So, four shots to one, it was France's half. And Espinaz. Completed seven out of nine passes, one shot on target from one, a decent 45 minutes. Fifty-first minute. Espinas pretty much playing as a number ten at the moment. Not the best ball, but also not the worst. Germany will get this one clear. Again, we're still hanging around in that number ten area. Looking to go right this time. That's cut out. Not terrible. Accuracy wasn't so bad then. But Germany can come forward now. So Timo Werner to Sane. And Werner's in here. But Lloris, strong. He was out quick. And France will get this one away. Benzema, lovely flick on to Espinaz. Oh, what a back heel. What swagger. What flair. This is sweeping football from France. Espinaz at the heart of it. And that's blocked behind. And that'll be a corner. Espinaz popping up on the left. Great strength. Proven to be a real handful wherever he is on the pitch. We'll come back here. Into Pogba. Maybe a shot. And taken out. That'll be a free kick. Dangerous position. Pogba will have this. Into the wall. That's poor. Maybe we're giving one more. Then we're going to start taking over on free kicks. 72nd minute, Espinaz on the right. That's loose. We get away with it though. Some nice triangles here. Simple but effective. Into Benzema. A little stab at the ball. And then Mbappe right on the byline. He gets that over the line and that's 2-1 France. Mbappe second of the game. He'll be looking to get that golden boot for sure. It's great football from France. Espinaz at the heart of it again. Showing great strength here actually on the edge of the box. Some simple passes. Benzema with a shot. And Mbappe showing great strength actually to hold his man off. And finish from a very tight angle. And quite rightly the Germans making some subs. As they're trying to search the equaliser here late on. Germany come forward. Can they find an equaliser? Whips in cross. Serge Gnabry coming in from the left. Glance header. Looked like Lloris had that covered all the way though. Couple of French substitutions. Try and secure that victory. Giroud on for Benzema. 81st minute. Germany still searching for that equaliser. That's cleared though. Chance for France to break. With Espinaz on the right. Absolutely no stamina left though. But he's still going. And that's poor. That's a poor pass. Germany will get that back. And launch another attack. 90th minute. Probably Germany's last throw of the dice. Edge of the box. Left footed. Decent enough strike. Easy enough though for Lloris to gather up and that should be it. And there goes the final whistle. Great start for France. Germany won France 2. 2 for Mbappe. 
So let's take a look at the match stats. So France had the possession and the number of shots. It was a deserved victory in fairness. Espimasa was six. Mbappe gets the official man of the match, but I think we can all agree Espimasa definitely the people's man of the match. Let's see how he done individually. 15 out of 18 passes completed, one shot on target. Involved in both goals really, so a solid performance. So in the other group match, Hungary won, Portugal three, so no surprises there really. Uh, Portugal will have a one goal advantage over us, so they will top the group at this early stage. Elsewhere, big wins for Italy, Finland, Netherlands, Austria. Um, England beat Croatia 1-0, Scotland unfortunately lost to Czech, and Wales with a nice victory over Switzerland. So there's the group standings at this early stage. So we trail Portugal on goal difference. That'll be it then for this episode. So episode two, I'll bring you France versus Hungary, which will be the so-called easier fixture of the group. I really, really appreciate you guys tuning in. I'm sure there's hundreds of different Euro 2020 playthroughs out there. So I'm really delighted that you guys have decided to give this one a go. Thank you. If you did enjoy it, then please like and subscribe and hit the notification button if you don't want to miss the next episode. Thank you very much, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers. <laughs>